He'll probably look just like me. He'll know how to smile and can probably make you laugh. And it's easy passing pleasing drinks purchased already when it's something as simple as a pill that could leave you caught to rot from the inside out. This is a letter to my nieces. When my words fall into pieces, I can only hope that I might say this right. Play some fear into the sights that will one day be standing right in front of you, but pretending they're beside you, you see. I want to see pictures in your lockets, but knives in your pockets, because the good and bad in people is so much more extreme than we let on. Because we let Disney tell you stories where it's a man who saves you, but believe me, you're on your own. So when it comes down to that moment of truth, you, you are the only one who can save yourself. Because there are those who will climb onto you just to get off in the fear in your eyes. They create scars like stars, becoming the only thing that we can see. Now I want you to be carefree, but careful at the same time, because predators, they prey in the silence of comfortable situations. And now I'm torn. Do I tell you these things that I know will prepare you? Do I let you live in ignorance just so I don't scare you? Because I'm scared that one in every four is just a rounded down estimation. It's only one in every four come forward towards trying to make a sign that someone might see. We have a court of law, not justice. So only those with the bruises you can see will be barely taken seriously at best. Now I want to teach you how love knows no bounds and exactly where a man's arteries can be found. I want to teach you so many things, but I don't want to contradict myself. So how do I teach you about Goldilocks and how locks can be picked? Or like Rapunzel, how long hair might save you or give the wrong person something to hang on to because the truth is, you never know for sure until after the fact and until it's too late. And these are the days where swords no longer come with shields. And like Andrea Gibson said, your bodies have been battlefields long enough. You were born with the scars other women took to their graves trying to save future generations from the same fate. But there are still rainbows you can see and stars that will tell you stories. I want to I wanna teach you about spaceships and that space between endings and new beginnings because I believe in unicorns and monsters. And from the spiders in our attics to the ghosts beneath our beds, I want to teach you what would scare the bravest men dead because one day someone will try to use you or abuse you. Now I'm not trying to confuse you about the beauty in this world. I'm just trying to teach you something that you'll use because not everyone will enter your life for the right reasons because we're not all standing on our own two feet. Some of us will take you just to not feeling complete. Not everyone is smiling because they're trying to be nice. Not everyone will give without recognizing the price. So remember, your open heart and your open mind have to meet your open eyes because I've heard people say, that which doesn't kill you only makes you stronger. But fuck them because it doesn't always work that way. Besides, that rule was made by the same men who made the rule of thumb. And it was said without saying, not so thick it might break you, but thin enough it might cut you, but you are the legacy that lets others be free, so live and fear and love and hate and trust and overcome and be.